Rockets would have to offer up a lot more. Like uh, Daniel House. Um, 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 I hate to cut you off. Two minutes. Hello. Pat Houston has agreed for a straight up trade, trading Russell Westbrook to Washington for John Wall and a first round pick. Welcome to the Behind the Mic podcast. And now, here's your host, Jordan Smith. Hello there once again, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, episode six of Behind the Mic, a sports media podcast. Hope you are doing well so far. Hope you had yourself a great week as well as we dive towards the end of of the month of June and get ready for July right around the corner. In fact, next week, <laughs> this year has gone by way too fast, fast. It it's blown by in a flash. It feels like the past. It feels like we should be in the past, but we're not either way. I'm rambling on. <laughs> Don't forget folks, before we start today's episode to go ahead and follow and subscribe, whatever you're listening on, whether it's Spotify, Apple Podcasts on YouTube or YouTube Music or wherever else you listen and enjoy your podcast as well. Be sure to follow and subscribe and also leave a review on Spotify, on the mobile app or anywhere that you're listening to this podcast. And if you are on the Spotify app, there is a Q&A and a poll question as well for you. That poll question runs to the end of the calendar year. Okay, so a little bit of a break in the fourth wall kind of deal here with today's episode today's episode as you can tell by the title is another one of our how-to series today's topic is on podcasting yes you're listening to a podcast on how to podcast no this wasn't the first idea for this week's episode but it doesn't matter but it's actually kind of a good thing that we're talking about podcasting a little bit because of the fact that and this isn't to gloat about myself but the fact of the podcasting world is there's a lot of podcasts that start out and don't even make it to episode six. There's a good amount of them that don't even make it to episode three. And that's not me saying that. That is not my past experience of saying that, which we will get to later on in this episode. But there are studies that actually show that. I want to say is the top 10% of podcasts in the world don't even make it to episode three in their lifetime before the episode stop altogether. An even crazier statistic when it comes to the 10 episode mark, but we'll get to that in a little bit. First, let's talk about what is podcasting. Podcasting is basically a way for you, whether it's an audio only means or audio and video or just video, doesn't matter either way. Basically a way for you to talk about certain topics, certain things, certain feelings in any kind of genre, media, whatever it is you're talking about, whether it be sports like this podcast, business, careers, uh, horror has been one that has come around a lot quite quickly uh, over the last few years, a, a genre that is really shot to the top, um, ones with a bunch of celebrities in it, no matter where, what genre they're in, you've got comedy podcasts, uh, you've got Podcasts like, for example, all the, the different YouTubers who have had podcasts as well uh, because they hit a certain point where they're like, okay, I've hit a point now where I need to make a podcast because I've hit a certain subscriber mark, what have you, right? And then there's just people who do it to try to make an extra income source, which isn't a bad thing. Now, why are we talking about podcasting and why am I qualified? I'll be honest, I might not be. <laughs> Seeing as this is probably the longest running podcast that I have had and we're only at episode six, that should tell you something. <laughs> um, I'm still fairly new to, to the podcasting world. I've had a couple in the past that, let's just say, have not panned out too well. I've had plenty of podcasts in the past, mostly talking about, and actually all of them, in fact, talking about sports, that had not made it past episode three there were some that made it past episode three not to this point of episode six like we are with this one so round of applause for everybody who's listening and who stayed, stuck around appreciate it um but <laughs> they all have failed partly because of two main reasons one and this is really the main one it was the trying to keep up with the consistency of the schedule consistency of the content so on and so forth and two, because I try to do 
too much in the beginning in the sense of I tried to start out the podcast with a two or three week episode, two or three episodes a week schedule because they were sports. You want to constantly update storylines, whatever. Obviously, that did not go well, and I would not advise that for anyone unless it is something that you are doing for a job specifically. I would not advise running on that kind of a schedule whatsoever when it comes to doing your first ever podcast. Trust me, 99% of the time, unless you absolutely strike gold, it's not going to work. Or if you're not the one editing the audio and posting to social media and creating the blog post for it and creating all the online presence, transcribing the episodes, coming up with social media posts, coming up, like I said, getting all the blog posts, we're gonna, everything like that. It's a lot of work. <laughs> It's a lot of work, and it's a lot of work for one person to do by themselves. So if you're not the one doing all of that by yourself, then it makes things a little easier. We talked about how most episodes right around maybe the top 10% of the world don't even make it past episode 3. Let's flip it a little bit. The top 3%, according to the same study, and I believe this is, I saw from Spotify, I believe. One of their master classes, I think is where I saw it. The top 3% of podcasts in the entire world don't even make it to or past the 10 episode mark. So while it may seem like every single person in the world has a podcast, there's a lot that's not actually active. There's a lot that started and just kind of stalemated. When you look at it from that perspective, then you're thinking, okay, maybe I don't have to strike gold immediately. Maybe you can set a goal of getting to... 10 episodes. And once you get to 10 episodes, by that point, you've got kind of a routine going. You got a schedule going, things like that. And maybe it gets a little bit easier for you from there. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's talk about my story a little bit with podcasting. I've already talked about it a little bit about the different sports podcasts I've done, how they have not done well. <laughs> but let's talk about how I started this podcast. And if you want a specific timeline, because I'm going to tell this story. I'll probably forget some details, but if you want a specific storyline, it is on my website, jordansmithpxp.com slash podcast. That is where you can find the show page for Behind the Mic on that URL, or just type in jordansmithpxp.com and click on the Behind the Mic podcast page on the top of the menu, and it'll take you straight to the page. Yeah, cheap plug, but also it works. <laughs> No, but how I started this podcast, originally, this podcast was an idea that I had going into the start of 2020. This is something I wanted to do, especially with the rise of streaming and things like that. Right before everything shut down, I had started doing streaming. I was thinking about maybe wanting to incorporate some kind of weekly podcast content during that time as well. And I was thinking, you know what? Maybe let, let's let's try something. This idea of this podcast, of what it is now, is exactly what I had when it started. Then lockdown happened. Everything shut down. And I kind of put it to the side because I was trying to figure out what to do in my daily life. Would it have been a good time to start it? Yeah, absolutely. It would have created some kind of consistency for a schedule and everything like that. But it just didn't happen. So in the meantime, what ended up happening was the behind the mic concept ended up turning into that fall of 2020 turned into a sports talk show on my campus radio station 90.5 KSHU for Sam Houston State University and myself and a guest we already had on the podcast Carlos Zimmerman we hosted it as a sports talk show once a week it was like a two-hour show each week and that's what we did actually not even two hours it's a one-hour show that we did each week and, and that's what we did for our class assignment was being on the radio getting the class credit for having a show on the radio weekly and so we did that after him and i both graduated in that next spring of 21 or even before then since we weren't continuing to do the show we handed that behind the mic name to some other students in the sports broadcast the student sports broadcast group of sam Houston state university Colin Neal and Luke Scott, who now have their own Sam Houston Sports Talk podcast. You can find that on all the social medias. I advise you to go check that out. They ran with it for, uh, I would say, almost three years. And they turned it into 
quite the show, I would say. Probably and from what I could tell and from what was said online, from alumni talking about it, it ended up becoming the number one show on 90.5 KSHU. So that was pretty cool to see. Uh, but when they finished this past spring, there was nobody else that was going to take over the podcast. So I said, or the, the show that is behind the mic. So I said, you know what? I'm taking the name back. I want the name back for myself. And I want to try to start the podcast up and try to go back to that original concept that I have of using it to talk with me members of the media, whether broadcast, writing, whatever thing it is in the world of sports media and use it as a, a learning tool, as a promotional tool for people in the industry to give advice to the younger people of the, the industry trying to break in, what have you, and a resource for all of those people trying to break in of here's all these different people, here's the advice they have. From my own personal experience, here's some advice I have. Here's some how-tos on my perspective on how to get things started in your career, multiple avenues, so on and so forth. What I say the podcast is working so far, I don't know necessarily if it's working, but I think the fact that I'm staying consistent with it Keeping up at least with the schedule now. I don't know. You may have noticed that a couple episodes ago, we changed it from Tuesday at 2 p.m. to Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Uh, and that was just because through data that I ended up, you know, the, the analytics that you look at, which is something that you're always told to look at in the beginning to see maybe trends on, you know, early on to see if you need to change the date of when you release an episode, so on and so forth. The analytics were showing that more people would listen on Wednesdays to the podcast and not just the new episode, but all of the episodes of the podcast instead of on Tuesdays when I would release every new episode. So that's when I shifted to Wednesdays and that metric has kept the same throughout this time so far through these last two, now three episodes. So the fact that at least I'm keeping consistent or at least trying to keep consistent with the schedule and so far, I haven't faltered from the, the publishing an episode schedule yet as far as keeping it weekly, keeping an episode going, keeping content flowing, so on and so forth. I would say that I'm, I'm happy so far. I'm not where I want to be just yet, but I'm happy so far with where I am. Now, you know, there's always ways to improve any kind of media that you're putting out. And one way that I am improving it, in a sense, or at least giving a different perspective on things, is I will be releasing a video version of this podcast. I've mentioned it before at the end of every episode, and that will be starting in August. I'm getting ready to move to a new city, so once all of that is done here pretty soon, get settled in, I can get a setup made, and then I'll actually start recording a video version of this podcast that will go up on my Patreon, patreon.com slash jordansmithbxp. And that is where you can get, starting in August, every single one of these episodes, you can get the video version of the podcast exclusively as a Patreon member. So if you have not done so yet, I would highly advise you go ahead and sign up for the Patreon so that when those video episodes start rolling in and the weekly uploads of the audio and the video start coming, you can get both things of it without really missing any episode. But anyways, getting off topic. <laughs> the reason why I say working, but at least the way the reason why I feel good about this as well, not just because of the consistency of the scheduling and the the uploading, I should say, not scheduling, but the uploading every week and being consistent with it at least, is because it's easy to talk about this topic of sports media, mainly because I work in sports media. That's what my entire career has been based out of, and that is what I'm doing right now. And in fact, actually today, as you're listening to this, I'm getting ready to start a new job tonight. Of course, I'm not going to say what it is right now. You'll have to go to my social media pages and tune in on July 13th. Of course, all the social media pages are all at Jordan Smith PXP, so pretty easy to find. I'll be announcing what this, this new job is. It's a job that I've been very excited about getting, one that I've always wanted to have as a child. Now I have it, and it's, it's a great feeling to have it, and it's a great opportunity as well. But again, I'm not going to say what it is right now. But yeah, you'll have to go to my social medias and, 
and check that out when it releases on July 13th. But anyways, besides the point, being able to have a podcast about sports media, finally, is, is something cool. Because like I said, I have experience in it. I feel like I can give a good perspective, at least on my expertise, from what I've experienced so far in my career. Granted, very little to maybe some of the, the other veterans in the industry who have maybe been in it for 30 plus years or so, but at least I can still give my perspective on it and I can bring those others in as well in order to bring their perspective into the conversation as well. So I feel like it is a good resource. And if you haven't done so yet, I would highly advise you share this podcast with all of your friends and family who are interested in sports, who are interested in the way sports media works. Maybe some people who are wanting to get into the world of sports media, so on and so forth. I highly advise you send this podcast to all your friends and family so they can check it out as well. Plus, I would appreciate it. <laughs> we want to get this podcast out to as many people as possible and kind of talk a little bit more and spread the word a little bit more about the behind the scenes of everything within sports media. But for those of you who are like me and have either not been able to have a podcast consistently keep going or you want to start a podcast for the first time and you're scared, that's completely normal. If you're wanting to start a podcast, just do it. <laughs> I know, easier said than done, but it's better to just do it, kind of throw yourself into in into the thick of it and and just kind of figure it out as you go along so that way you're not having to think you're not thinking twice about it you're just running in you're going with it you know really when it when it comes down to it the only reason you don't have a podcast is because you're telling yourself that you're not ready to have a podcast yet get yourself out of that mind frame and just start the podcast again i know it'd be a lot easier said than done but you really don't need much you could record a podcast off a cell phone. It's not that hard, to be quite honest with you. If you have a microphone, great. You don't need a Shure M7B. You could have a simple XLR studio microphone on Amazon for 50 bucks. You could have a, a simple directional microphone. You could have a, a regular microphone that you pick up at a music store that singers use. You could use any of those, and it still work. You could have a USB mic, whatever the case may be. It's not that hard to do, honestly. It's not that hard to start. You just have to start it. And also something else when it comes to podcasting, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. You're not limited to talking about certain topics only. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about when it comes to podcasting because it's your decision. But when you talk about and you start coming up with a podcast, you want to try and make sure that you focus in on one certain thing or you, you kind of hone in and make your podcast stand out. And what I mean by that, and you'll hear that a lot, use my podcast for an example. You could look at it and go, okay, it's a sports podcast. No, it's not just, it's not really a sports podcast. It is a podcast talking about the sports media careers and how to get started with a sports media career. So it's not just a sports podcast, a general sports podcast talking about the NFL and stuff. It's not a podcast that, talks this regular general sports talk like you would hear on a radio station it's not any of that in fact it is quite the complete opposite it is a focused topic within the world of sports so specifically looking at sports media the careers within sports media the people within sports media and the options in which to deliver a message in the sports media world so it is taking a large generalized topic of sports and focusing it in on one different aspect of that topic. And make sure that whatever it is you want to talk about with your podcast, make sure you do it with passion because your audience will be able to tell if you actually enjoy talking about what it is you talk about with your podcast, the topic for each episode, what have you. Because if you're not actually enjoying what you're talking about, it's going to come off very mundane, very mellow. Uh, even a little bit confusing to the audience as to why you're talking about something if maybe you don't understand it or you don't enjoy it, and they're going to tell you don't enjoy it, and so because of that, they're not going to enjoy it. Obviously, there's going to be nerves when you start out, like I said, and that's fine, and there's also going to be nerves when trying to 
promote the podcast for the first time because like i said everybody has a podcast so when you say oh i have a podcast now people are going to be like okay seriously that's another person on my friends list that has a podcast but when you're just trying to start out building an audience the best way to do it is to ask friends and family to check the podcast out to subscribe to the podcast however it may be a little nerve-wracking saying hey why don't you listen to my horror podcast hey why don't you listen to my sports podcast Hey, why don't you listen to my comedy podcast? Hey, why do you listen to my business and finance podcast? Hey, listen to whatever it is, my food podcast, whatever it may be, movie reviews, TV show, whatever. It does not matter. You ask your friends and family, it is a good starting point to trying to build a audience base because of the fact of the matter is friends and family are going to be the ones that tell you when things are working or things are not working. You know, they'll give you ideas on how to improve it, what they do like, what maybe they think you should take out, whatever. But also, they're going to be consistent support, consistent listenership, and it's going to help at least get you a good, solid start in your foundation in the beginning. So whenever it does come time to all of a sudden, you're now trying to reach a larger audience, you already have everything figured out. So when you start building that larger audience through outside means, you've got everything figured out already. You already have the basis of friends and family. So it entices more people to want to check it out because you already have other people checking out the podcast as well. They just don't know it's your friends and family. You don't have to tell them that. All I know is if you want to get started, just go ahead and do it. Don't worry about being nervous. You can use anything you have to record a podcast, tell your friends and family about it, and just get started because once you get started and once you kind of get those first few episodes out of the way that for most for some people i say for some people once you get that podcast itch it's never going to go away i promise you you're gonna you're gonna want to keep doing it every week and things like that and also another tip of advice whether you are trying to plan ahead because maybe you're moving for example or you are going on vacation whatever the case may be or If you just have a general enough topic, like for example, uh, I know somebody who has a a movie review uh, podcast in this Facebook group that I'm in. If it's a general enough topic like that where it's not time sensitive or anything like that, you can go ahead and record a few episodes at a time and edit those, publish them and schedule them out, you know, a week or two in advance. So that way you have more time to kind of sit down, come up with new ideas record more episodes, so on and so forth, and kind of get ahead a little bit, especially in the beginning. The ideal thing is this, is people say, record your first 10 podcasts if you can. If they're not time sensitive, go ahead and record your first 10 episodes. So that way you get to the 10 episode mark, you get to that bench point, and you can at least have a good solid foundation to then kind of listen to feedback, improve on the show, so on and so forth. So when you start recording that next bit, you can then use those improvements, those that bit of advice you've gotten, and improve your show from there and take it to new heights. All right, so with that, that'll end this episode of Behind the Mic, a sports media podcast. Don't forget, folks, like I mentioned a little bit ago, to follow my Patreon, patreon.com slash jordansmithpxp. We have three different tiers of membership on the podcast uh general support uh base plan and advanced plan as well for all different kinds of content that you can get with each and every different level of support first off if you are or you are supporting the patreon thank you very much if you have not done so yet go ahead and do that now also don't forget to subscribe to the podcast leave a review on whatever podcast platform it is you're listening to this podcast on whether it be spotify apple youtube or wherever else you get listen and enjoy your podcast also all the social media descriptions for this show are down in the description below so be sure to click on every single one of those and give this show a follow so you can keep up with whenever we upload every single week and then next week we will have another guest on the show finally able to confirm it broadcaster play-by-play broadcaster anson massey joins the behind the mic podcast to talk about his play-by-play career and a whole lot more but that'll do it for us here on episode six we'll see you next week for episode seven of behind the mic a sports media podcast thanks for
for listening to the Behind the Mic podcast. Listen to every episode of Behind the Mic on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Music. Open any of these apps and search Behind the Mic. Then hit the follow button so you won't miss a single episode. Thank you.